All right, so you're probably wondering, CJ, what are you doing with a safe that looks like it's hit everything except for the lottery? Well, that's a good question. The answer to that is Randonautica. Randonautica brings you to some really weird finds. I found caskets in the woods. I have found really weird things such as laptops in the desert, different stuff. Now, it's not all the time you're gonna find stuff just like this, but I can assure you of one thing, if you play enough and you play almost every single day, that you're gonna come across something weird eventually. I'm not sure if this correlates with anything found before this in the video that you were about to watch. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that footage, watch from start to finish. I really need your all's help in your opinion of what the heck does all of this mean and does anything correlate to this safe? Now, roll that footage. What's up everybody? The new Dreamed Into Reality hoodies have just dropped on shopmotivated.com. This is a hoodie with a lot of meaning behind it to me because in 2016, I was literally dreaming my life into a reality by working hard every day and going for it and taking some of the craziest, stupidest, dumbest chances ever, but it's starting to pay off finally. And I'm hoping that this hoodie can inspire some of you all to do the same thing. So go to shopmotivated.com right now to get it. I've worked really hard. I know this is a very simple design, but a lot of thought went into this, probably more than it should have, honestly. So go get that before it is all gone. And then once you receive it in the mail, tag me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Tell me in the comments section, hey CJ, I've ordered one and I am going to be FaceTiming 10 of you who order these hoodies. So if you order this hoodie, in the next 24 hours, your name is gonna be randomly selected. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing y'all on a FaceTime call. Now back to the video. It's up here on my left. I wanna show you all what I'm seeing here out the front of my truck. Whoa, that looks terrible. I don't know why, hang on a second, let me try to turn this off. Yeah, there we go. All right, so sorry about this. Uh, typically, I would have, what the f was that? I right, have 300 feet, um, 200 feet. Okay, it's on my left hand side over here. I'm just gonna pull off on this side of the side of the road right here. And um, for all of you at home watching, it's a little windy, it's still a little bit a little bit rainy. And there's no cell phone reception, there's like one bar out here. What the f is that? Whoa. Okay. Hang on a second, there is something in the woods right back there. When I turn this, see it? It's like a, uh, something really reflective back there. I don't know if that's it or not, but I mean, I don't know what that could be as far as uh, the intent goes, but I'm gonna roll my truck window up here for just a second. Um, all right. Let me put a light on top of my camera so I'll have to take that big flashlight. Sorry everybody. This is uh this is CJ being completely unprepared for whatever life throws at him. That is for sure. I'm gonna roll down the window just a bit. Oh my gosh, this is scary. This is stupid is what this is. Literally gonna. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that's trash. That has nothing to do with severely dangerous at all. Trash, well I guess, I, I don't know. I'm trying to be upbeat and positive and not be freaking myself out right now, but Yep. Hang on. I think somebody pooped in a bag. Nope. Sunglasses. Sunglasses in a bag. Hang on. I want to get the hell out of the woods real quick. Oh my gosh, there's spiders crawling in that thing. No, thank you. There's a phone in there. No freaking way, dude. 
No freaking way. All right, so I'm thinking uh Oh my gosh, look, there's like all kinds of like crud. Homes.com. It looks got nice hair on it. Phone. A watch, a victory watch. Thing looks really, really rusted. I know. Might be a little bright, so I'm gonna turn this down. But a victory watch. What the hell is that? Hello? Hang on a second, I gotta grab my flashlight. Good. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so jumpy, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, hang on a second. Let me see if I can uh, angle this up a little bit. So it looks like we got a phone. What the hell is in the back of this? Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is an oldie here. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's time to get the f out of here. I don't know what all these noises are. There's a f car coming. Great, there's a f car. Okay, yeah, there's a car. Definitely a car. Alright, hang on a second here. Let me turn this light off. Alright. Let me get all this on camera. All right, that was just a, just take an innocent truck, that's all, no big deal. All right, try not to freak out, y'all. I'm trying not, I'm doing my very, very best not to freak out. Uh, and I'm telling you, a lot of times you're just going to freak yourself out with Random Nautica just because of all of uh, the crazy stuff that uh, you see us do. We really do put ourselves in a lot of danger sometimes, but I'm going to just get away. There are two pieces of paper. I heard that truck coming from a mile away, I felt like, and uh, I think it's just time for me to just go ahead and uh, get out of here. I'm going to go to the stop sign. Just get away from this area. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, don't stay. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do this at all. I'm just telling you all that right now. Do what makes you feel comfortable and just don't put yourself in a situation. That's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna pull over here at one of these um, little pull off areas with some parking and I'm gonna go through this bag of stuff. Now there is a vehicle behind me. It looked like a sweet little old lady in her minivan that pulled out of her driveway maybe about a half of a mile ago. So I'm just documenting this just in case anything weird does happen. But um, so far to me, the only thing that seems way out of place and suspicious to me is the phone in the bag. That kind of messes with my brain a little bit. I, I don't know what that's all about, but guess what? I have an iPhone charger right here, and I'm gonna plug that phone in. I'm gonna see if it'll turn on, and if it does, we'll go through it. Uh, possibly return it to its owner. Maybe it was a stolen phone, but uh, I do think it's a little strange, maybe a little coincidental that there is a watch in that bag as well with some sunglasses with homes.com on the side of the sunglasses. So I don't know what that means. It might not even correlate. Might be somebody just littering and throwing trash out. So um, yeah, again, now this van is following me, but I'm, I'm trying to go to a certain area that's got a little bit of lighting so that way I'm not all freaked out. So uh, see y'all in just a few minutes. All right, so the first thing I wanna point out is the Walmart bag here is a little rusty by Every stretch of the imagination, like it's got a little bit of rust right here. Um, I don't know how long this thing has been sitting out there, but it's got to be quite a while because everything kind of looks weathered. So uh, the first thing is this pair of sunglasses. Uh, I noticed the Homes.com logo on it. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, obviously, it's a website. The next thing is this watch right here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know, but 
oh, it stretches out. I was like, this is a very small wrist. Like, if you look at my wrist compared to this, like, it's, that's a very small wrist. Um, it's a victory watch, it says. I don't know. Kind of unique. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. All right. So, um, looks like it stopped working at 12, 15, or 16 and 5 seconds. That's weird. Um, the phone. This is, this is what I really am interested in right here. So, as you can see, it's a little dusty on the screen. Um... So I don't know how long that's been out there, but the good news is I do have an iPhone charger. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna plug this thing in. I'm gonna highly doubt this thing even works, but if it were to magically come on. Okay, check that out. There we go, we got a little bit of battery. It's gonna charge up, so this is good, this is good. Um, I have found two working phones before. This would be a third working phone. The first one was ringing in Florida uh, when Dylan and I came across it while we were playing Rando Nautica around, I think it was Jacksonville or Tampa area. I cannot remember which one it was. But when we found that phone, it was so weird. It had some weird, like, kind of cryptic type messages on it. Again, I don't understand what a phone would be doing in a Walmart bag with a whole bunch of weird stuff. Uh, next thing is these... Uh, pieces of paper right here. Whoa. Oh, it's a rip. Ow. Yeah, this is ripped. What the hell? Horoscope of a tragedy. Right there. That's a little strange, isn't it? Let's read this out here. Whoa. Consider the evil aspects in Los Angeles at 1215 a.m. June 5th, 1968. Number one. Transiting moon in the seventh house of revivals and public enemies was conjunct with planets Uranus and Pluto, indicating a sudden tragedy aimed at changing the conditions of things to a new level of awareness. Whatever the hell that means. Number two, transiting Mars, an evil square aspect to sun and moon. Oh, wait. Indicating harm or violence to a person or people. Number three, uh, looks like uh, transiting Saturn, an ominous aspect of planet Neptune and moon very keenly, indicating sudden death by assassination from ambush, damn, by a secret enemy. Number four, transiting Jupiter in square aspect to the planet Neptune, including foolish disregard for the possibility of deception that could prove to be regretful. Since everyone in Los Angeles at that moment was under the same planetary influence, you may say that madness was in the air, but what fate brought in an idolize Kennedy into confrontation with his assassinator can only be revealed in close comparative study of each other's natal and progressed horoscopes. What the f Okay. Whew. I don't know why, but I just like all of a sudden got scared. So, um, this is very weird. Let's see what the next one is. The Kennedy Curse Factor Superstition. This is horseshit, y'all. I, I don't even know why. I, I'm, I wish I could put this together for all of you. I wish I could put this together for all of you. I don't understand why things with Kennedy is found with multiple people. Not only myself. There's people out there that play Rando Nautica just as much as I used to. And they find stuff with Kennedy stuff. I don't know if there's just a bunch of Kennedy stuff laying around. I don't know if people are going around, like, putting shit out. I, I, I don't even know. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The Kennedy curse, fact or superstition. That's literally what this says right here. It's got a picture of a bunch of Kennedys, I'm assuming. And then, this, why are both of them ripped like that? Look at this. Both of these pages are kind of, well, not ripped similar, but kind of ripped similar. All right, here we go. Um, the Kennedy family has been touched often by violence and tragedy. The unbelievable number of times that death has stalked the current generation of that family has shocked the world with each of its seemingly endlessly disastrous that has been that has befallen them. In this day, in this day and age, it's difficult for anyone to believe that fate 
could set so many disaster could set such a disastrous course for any one individual, let alone an entire family. Yet there are many who believe in such undefinable powers of tragic fate. The Kennedy clan itself had its beginnings in Ireland, a land steeped in superstition where many continue to believe in the supernatural. Could the Kennedys have been marked for tragedy? Though it is impossible to divide the facts from such superstitions, beliefs the facts nonetheless are shocking. The repeated tragedies suffered by the Kennedys and those related to the family are overwhelming. The first of the Kennedy tragedies befell the daughter of Rose Mary. She was born mentally some mentally ill and spent her life in a mental institutions in 1944 eldest son Joseph P Kennedy died I don't like I'm sorry but if my last name was Kennedy I would literally not go out of the house at this point I don't know why I find Kennedy stuff I don't know why a lot of you all find Kennedy stuff when you're random nodding if you random not and have tried to random not before please comment below if you have found anything with Kennedy on it I find it very 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 eer eerie weird whatever you want to call it the phone case here uh, looks like it's just broken I don't really think this has any uh, Jack Spade New York that's probably who made the phone case I'm guessing I don't understand like does it make any sense why oh man all right so the phone is still trying to power on right now so I'm, I'm just gonna wait for this to power up and um, I'll continue the video but without any further ado I am going to go ahead generate another Randonautica location and uh, let's go ahead let's see where this one takes us Randonautica released a feature this was a little bit ago but I just wanted to kind of share with you all you can now go 18.02 mile radius instead of like a four mile radius so I'm gonna go ahead and just generate one randomly. Let's see where it takes us. Breathe, focus on your intent. Um, so my intent for this one is going to be super, like superstition. Anything to relate with superstition. Danger, superstition. That's going to be my intent. Danger, superstition. Not sure what that could possibly bring, but... All right, let's go ahead. Let's start this journey. No, I don't want to save my point. Open the maps. Here we go. All right, 19 minute drive, 9.9 .9 miles away. Let's get to it. All right, hang on one second. This iPhone just made a noise, so I wanna go ahead and iPhone is disabled. Try again in 15 minutes. I never even touched the thing. Seriously, what the hell? All right, I got 14 minutes now. All right, so I'm gonna wait 14 minutes and Come back to y'all, sorry. So I'm traveling down this main road. Uh, it's 4.3 miles up here on my left. And uh, it's about another eight minutes away. There is um, a weird amount of traffic on this road. I didn't really think it's a popular road, but apparently it is tonight. So I, I've got to give a disclaimer. I say this in every single video. We had a meeting, when I say we, I'm talking about me, Jazz, Chris, and Sonny with the co-founder of Randonautica, Auburn. Auburn is a real, true, genuine person. I really believe everything that she said that, you know, it just doesn't make sense for Randonautica to dispatch stalkers. It, it kind of defeats the purpose of the app. And to be quite honest with you, um, I'm in business. I don't feasibly think that that could remotely be a thing. I really don't. I see a lot of you all comment like, oh my gosh, I'm too scared to play because I don't want to get stalked. Um, you know, we're in the public light, right? There's people that just don't like us for whatever reason. What the hell is going on up here? So it, it's real smoky, it smells smoky. I'm 2.9 miles on my left-hand side from wherever this destination is. And um, I, again, just giving you all context, I, I truly don't feel like I'm in danger right now, but who's who knows? Like, you don't know, and that's like the mystery behind Randonautica. I know for a fact by talking to Auburn that there was a lot of conspiracy-type things happening uh, with the app. What the f***? Am I getting pulled over? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
There, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. There's flashing lights right behind me. All right, I swear to you all, I, I, I thought it was flashing lights. I swear on my life it was flashing lights. I really did. All right, I'm two miles on my left hand. That is flashing lights. They're way back there, but they're, they're not going very fast. They're way back there. I don't know if y'all can see those or not, but <clears throat> good grief, it is smoky out here. Or I think it's fog, actually. <clears throat> All right, the flashing lights behind me are getting way, 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 way further behind. Uh, what the hell is going on? Oh my gosh. There's no freaking way. All right, I don't, I, I think there's something going on up here. I'm gonna pull over onto the side of the road right here. My gosh what in the hell I'm 1.1 miles away from it right now still no way this is crazy what oh my gosh is this thing taking me up there to where whatever it is What? No way. It is. That's it on the. That's it on the left. That is it on the left, y'all. This is crazy right now. That's about a mile up. What is going on? It's rerouting me right now. freaking way y'all this thing is literally try it, it was taking me to wherever that fire truck was going what the f mm. they blocked the road off all right so while i'm stopping to get fuel here i would like to present the phone here and i'm not sure who this lady and this child is But uh, definitely strange. Uh, press home to unlock. It's got a passcode required, so I don't know. I don't want to lock out the phone here. How do you get the thing? So clearly there's a SIM card in it because you can see. Very weird. Um, I don't even know. Maybe I'll try to return this to its rightful owner. I don't even know how to start with that. If you all know how, comment below right now. Let me know. Um, very weird. Very, very weird. So I'm going to finish getting fuel. I'm at $49. $50 right now, and I have 14 gallons of fuel. Wow. $50 for 14 gallons of fuel. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, so a few nights ago, uh, you probably remember me finding uh, this iPhone here who I uh, cannot get to work at all. Uh, yeah, so to make a long story short, I'm in the middle of a forest, not gonna name which one, don't wanna get in trouble, um, but I'm going to use Andrew V's, which kind of like almost remind me of like Andrew Valentino like thing. I, I don't know, it's just got a weird vibe, but um, Lieutenant74656 on Twitter says, intense, deepest, that's kind of an intent in itself. Darkest secrets, damaged goods, heroin escape, 
close call, and then at the bottom, stay safe, much love. So here's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Darkest Secrets because that's that's clearly like one of the, I don't know, crazier intense I feel like for uh, Andrew there. So um, Andrew, thank you very much for your intense there on Twitter. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire up the Randonautica app. As always, I, sh I try to show you and tell you like what I'm doing, the radius I'm using, all of that information because it, it's kind of informational. So I'm going to use the radius. Uh, there's a car coming by. Yeah, I'm good there. Nothing weird. All right, 2.4 miles, 2.49 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and generate a point. Visualizing my intent, darkest secrets. The sun is going down. I plan on doing Rando Nautica for the entire night. Here we go, start journey. No, I don't wanna save my point. Open the maps. Here we go. All right, so we are, uh, when I say we, I'm talking about all of you and me. 21, 21 minutes. No, that's if I'm walking. <laughs> all right, four minute, four minute drive, not that far. All right. I don't know how I get changed the walking. So anyway, let's go and let's get going. So about a week and a half ago, I was in the Outer Banks with my family. I decided to film a random Nautica video and um, it was very, very odd. I actually want your all's opinion if I should go back to the Outer Banks and play random Nautica again. Me personally, I enjoyed the absolute hell out of it. I really, really did. Um, so it's telling me to park my car in 0.6 miles and it's looking like yeah all right the point is in the middle of the woods basically and uh that ought to be fun i don't know why i do these alone um like this is good for me doing this alone because it's like helping me overcome my fears like I i'm not even gonna lie to y'all on camera i i, I can't <laughs> I can't sit here and be Mr. Macho Man and say, oh yeah, I'm not afraid of anything, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm petrified. Like, don't get, me, don't get me wrong. Like, as the night goes on and it gets like a little darker, I'm gonna be nervous 110%. But what I'm not gonna do is freak myself out. Well, I say I'm not gonna freak myself out and I hope that's not really the case, but I can always be wrong. Um, okay. Looks like, uh, All right, there's someone fishing. Hmm, weird. Uh, 200 feet prepared to park my car. Okay. I'm not sure what that per. Oh, uh, they're fishing? Oh, they're letting their dog swim. Okay, that's weird. I'm nervous, legit nervous, darkest secrets, and I'm going into the woods uh, to show y'all where I'm at. Looks like I pretty much gotta go straight, unless, that's a trail right over there, it kinda looks like, so. Um, geez. All right, well, here goes nothing, y'all. Let me grab one of my flashlights, just in case I get lost. Oh, man. So if y'all can hear, I didn't want to point the camera at the guy because it's just him and his dog, but. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on there, but whatever. This is like public area kind of, so. So if we got a gate up here, it's not a good thing. So, looks like a five minute walk into the woods here. What in the world? 
What is that? Hang on a second here. What is this? It's all kinds of paper. All right, I don't know. I really don't know. I've noticed like all kinds of weird little things. Here's a bottle from somebody. All right, I'm gonna keep on walking. So as you all know, I'm, I get comments all the time. CJ, are you particularly worried that you're being stalked? Um, no, actually. I don't even know. I might add this in the beginning of the video, so this might be a little bit repetitive. Let me see how far my point is. Wow, it looks like somebody tried to build a fort or something. Back there. Never mind, that's just a tree knocked over onto another tree. But I have talked extensively, like publicly and privately with Rando Nautica. All right, I'm, I'm going to point something out right here. Hang on. See that mark right there? It's like something's being drug. And then there's marks right there of something being drug. Now I did see a sign back there. It said absolutely no ATVs or off-road vehicles. Yeah, yeah, look, something got drug. Something was drug from right here to right there. A little mark in between. I think that's that guy and that dog. Alright. So obviously something is being drugged right through here. And that's a little weird to me, but um talking to y'all about Random Nautica, there's a lot of you who are very hesitant to play the app because you feel like you're going to get stalked. Now, there's been situations in close calls. Yes, you've seen it on my channel and multiple other channels, but you gotta think about this. We're YouTubers. We are in the public spotlight a lot. And there's a lot of people who hate us for that. And there's also a lot of people who love us as well. But what you have to take into consideration, let me see how far I am now. Okay, yeah, I'm like another three minutes. That, that trail goes a long way up here. What you have to take into consideration is my talks with Rando Nautica. We met up with them in Florida. I then have been on four or five different Zoom calls with Rando Nautica. I'm a businessman, okay? I have multiple businesses I run. I understand profit and loss statements better than most people do because I look at mine every single day. There is no possible way that the app could afford to pay people to sit there or follow you. It's people who have something against you. It's, you know, I, I've had my own situations and, whoa. Oh my gosh. I got trash, trash back there. Oh man. Wait, I think that's just birds moving around. <gasps> that owl scared. I'm still probably another four or 500 feet from my point, but this is weird. Somebody threw out a complete box of books, it looks like. The Magic Cottage by James Herbert. 
guilty as sin. Chesapeake, James A. Something. Good grief. What the? F there's a. Guys, there's an owl, and we're hearing an owl. You all are hearing this too, I'm hoping. <laughs> this is what Randon Holly goes about the weird stuff. There's multiple of them. There's literally multiple owls while I've just picked up this owl night book. <laughs> this is crazy. What are the odds of this? This is nuts. Whoa, the world's most famous ghost. I need to keep that book. Darkness. No! Heart of darkness. Darkest secrets, technically? There's no way. This is this is nuts. This is crazy. Cold river. We're near water. Henry McKee is not dead. Okay. Weird. Foul prey. The Great Gatsby. Building up and ri and busting loose. Oh! Somebody wrote in this. A lot of people did, apparently. Oh, wait, this is a, um, uh, the yearbook thing. Yeah, this is a yearbook. Oh my gosh, somebody. Why don't somebody throw all this stuff out? Hang on a second here. This is crazy. Ooh, the box got a little bit of mold on it, but it's okay. I'm taking all these. First off, why would somebody throw all of this away? I don't know what this is. 40 watt B10. Hello? Hello? It might be like an owl or something. Very weird. Huh. Alright. That's not even like the... This isn't even my spot, but that's weird. Like, I'm definitely taking this book. The, all these books. Like, first off, um, as you all know, you watch me play Randonautica. I all the time pick up trash if I see any that's, like, worth picking up like this. Um... I've come across some very strange things to pick up as far as like people wiping their butts. I'm not picking that up. Uh, we're gonna let nature take its course on those, but anything like that, or like cans or something like that, as I see as I walk backwards, I'm gonna pick up because that's just the right thing to do. So if you're out random nodding, number one thing that you gotta remember, literally be a good citizen. I don't know why I feel like I'm being watched, but <laughs> I don't feel too bad in this forest. It's It's not, not terrible. 
not terrible by any means. Hello? All right, well, this is my point right here. I really think the point was off, honestly. This is very strange, so. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go back to here. That was my point, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm mind blown right now, number one, by the owl book, as soon as I picked up the owl book, well before then, you know, you heard the owl, but like as soon as I picked it up, like the two owls were going crazy, and then it said something about darker and then secrets or something like that, like, This is crazy. This to me is insane. I'm, I'm literally mind blowing. Somebody's yearbook. What kind of box is this anyway? Folded cheese omelet? What? All right, super strange, but I'm gonna try and, oh gosh, this box, it's just like a very, I don't know, you can tell. It's, uh, it's probably been out here for at least a couple days or so. All right, well, I'm gonna try to pick up my camera. I don't know if you all can hear me or not, my camera's still running, I'm gonna keep it recording that whole way back to the truck. Just wanna make sure nobody's around me. This is very, very weird. All right, so I'm kind of on a dry run right now. I'm hoping to change my luck around. I'm at this uh, fuel pump right here, about to get me some diesel fuel. So if you don't mind, if you haven't already, slap a like on this video. Uh, diesel fuel and the cost of gas has gone up tremendously, and I've done a lot of driving around. So I've gone through almost a half a tank of fuel. I started with a half a tank, and I'm down to literally like 18 miles to empty. I was cutting it close, y'all, I was cutting it close. But I'm actually gonna generate a point right here from where I'm sitting. Uh, so that way I can just literally drive right out of the gas station, go to whatever this point is. I'm going to use an intent from Twitter from Just E1226 on Twitter. Shout out to you for that. It says, Mysterious Motives, Forbidden Love, Unsolved Crime, The Undead. I'm going to go with the first one, um, Just E. I, I think your first one is always your best. That's what my opinion is at least. Uh, so I'm gonna go with mysterious motives and see where that takes me. So I'm gonna go ahead, fire up Random Nautica right here. I am going to put my radius uh, at 11.06 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate with my intent, yada, yada, yada. And let's see where Random Nautica takes us. It's flapping its wings still. Mysterious motives, I'm gonna breathe in like the app tells me to. Mysterious motive. We're having problems. It's not wanting to generate a point for some reason. Never mind. All right, so uh, looks like I have a 20 minute drive. And this is in. Looks like it's a road. So, anyhow, <laughs> let me fuel up my truck real quick and then uh, be good to go here. So according to my GPS, I'm um, just about one minute away, which is 0.9 miles. I'm seeing deer all throughout here. This is a super, super like desolate area, back road type situation. 
Um, right now, I'm just in the middle of nowhere. The drive wasn't even that bad here. It was like a main highway. I got off on one road, um, and I went on that one for about four or five miles, and then I jumped onto this road here, which I've probably been on this maybe two or three miles. It's been not, not been much, but I mean, this is a super, super desolate area back here. There's just really not a whole lot going on. So I'll show you all a little bit more of the road here. Looks like it's saying a uh, half a mile on the left and looks like it might be like a horse farm over there to the left or something but I'm not seeing any barn so I don't know this is the fun part of Rananautica is just not knowing where you're gonna end up at I mean that's kind of the I guess the weird part is uh, you just kind of don't know all right we're coming up on it 0.2 miles it's on my left 800 feet. Right. And it's on my left. What the hell is that? Please, no. What the hell is that? I don't understand why people throw trash out on the side of the road. Looks like someone's clothes. Yes, definitely someone's clothes. Why do people have to do that? They spewed trash all down through here. Special kitty. All right, so this is kind of a kind of strange, I guess. I don't. I don't particularly know what this has to do with the intent, but I gotta say it's pretty accurate I mean it was the location was I mean, spot on it was right on the left weird I, I know clothes I'm not going through anybody's clothes because uh, I don't have proper gloves y'all used to hate when I would touch things so I think I'm just not gonna touch things anymore <laughs> I don't know I have no idea no idea what that would have to do with with anything but um, I don't know. Strange nonetheless. I mean, you think about it, there's probably, you know, I would consider that right there to be a bust. And probably most of you watching the video would too as well. Again, not sure what that has to do with, I don't, I don't get, I don't know. look at something here all right this is someone's driveway right up here let me turn the camera around so y'all can see what I'm seeing here All right, so I'm looking for the next intent. Had a couple more busts, which sucks, but um, I'm going to use Ruth Ann's tweet here to me. It says, evil intent, mystery box, mystery in the woods, something odd, something unusual, creepy dolls, creepy people. Well, I hope you have fun, stay safe, love all your videos, even if I'm behind in your videos. Well, Ruth Ann, shout out to you. I really do appreciate that, but um, I'm gonna go with the... Uh, 
something unusual. I don't know. Or creepy dolls. Which one should I do? I'm going to go creepy people. Let's do that one. Creepy people I'm going to go with. So let's fire up Random Nautica here. And let's see where it takes us. Now, I'm going to stretch out my radius like a pretty good ways here. Um, like I tried to, the past four busts I had were within about 2.49 miles. So I'm going to stretch out my radius to, let's say, uh, lucky number 13. 13.23 miles. Let's embark. Creepy people. Let's see where it takes us. Creepy people. Kind of weird. Like, kind of weirds me out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I don't know. This will prove once and for all whether it brings us to creepy people. So, hold on to your bootstraps, folks. We are about to experience something crazy, I'm sure. Probably not. It's going to be another bust. I usually don't do intense with, like... Um, that, like are people, you know what I mean? Like people related, like uh, people trying to hurt me or you know, something along those lines. So uh, looks like our generated point is 13 miles away. So let's go ahead and hit the drive in. Oh gosh, just down some weird back roads it looks like. All right, let's do this. Whoa, okay, what the f is this? Holy shit. I knew I saw something. Damn it. All right, so if there's any chance of anything breaking in there, I think it's already broken. Shoot. It, now, if we really want to think about this, it looks like as somebody tried to get in. Now, there is a lot of rust here. Um, obvious reasons somebody tried to get into this safe at some point and uh, oh boy looks like we have a bunch of gash marks around here um, the paint is coming off uh, I'm not sure if somebody tried to pry in right there trying to pry in these sides there's something in there all right so I have a ton of tools here in my race shop that I'm gonna try to use. All right, Siri, you're gonna have to shut up for this one. My Apple Watch is, sorry Dylan, I'm about to wrangle you out of here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try and open this thing up. The thing that I've learned most about cutting up race cars or fabricating stuff, I used to do a lot of fabrication in North Carolina. If you ever see a seal or where something is sealed, the easiest thing is to run right directly across that. So that's what I'm gonna try first. Um, I'm going to try right across this top, see how this goes. Safety first, y'all. Safety first.
You in? Dude, I'm in. You're in. I'm in. I'm in. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dude. Oh no. Number three. Uh, there is some stuff. What is that? Whoa. What is that? Ronald Reagan? He's on the dollar? Hang on. It's not really focusing in for him. Hang on. Focusing in. I'll read it. Um, let us renew our faith and hope. We have every right to dream heroic dreams. Inaugurated January 20th, 1991. Or 81. Whoa. A little rusted too, but. Wow. Um, there's some pictures. Change. Just like some pennies. All right. Um. Picture of a house. Some pictures of a house. Pictures of house. Why would he be in a safe? I don't know. That. Something. There's a lot of pennies. 1941. Is that a key for the safe? Locked inside the safe. Wait, what? Nah, there's no way. <clears throat> oh, this is just one half of it, bro. There's another nice. half. Look out. Oh gosh. We'll let that dust settle for a second. So, I, I, I don't know what this has to do with anything. I really don't. Um, does it make a whole lot of sense? No? Maybe? Um, I don't know. I, I would go back and, and, and watch this entire video from start to finish. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh my god. Bro. Alright, hang on. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, you'll never understand, trust me. Okay. Um, it's like some uh, coin things. Oh my gosh. $10,000, five Dora dollars. Oh, they're Dora dollars. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> 1935E, silver certificate.
Man, you're gonna be rich with all those Dora dollars. Here's another Ronald Reagan thing. That's very interesting. Dude, we got more Dora dollars. We can go oh, eat dude, tonight, dude. Yes. Pull up. What do you want for lunch? You want to go to Applebee's? Be like, hey, do you guys accept Dora dollars? Pajamas? What is that? Pajamas. Twenty oh. Dora dollars. We got some Dora dollars. Let me give him that. Got some more keys to something. That's a key to a truck right there. Either key to just an average lock. The stamper? Yeah. Paid. Home decor color, deep purple. Let's see. Oh. Oh gosh, okay. Is that a door dollar down there? Let's see. can't see much. This is very odd. So, I'm not sure how to conclude this video other than the fact that, again, I don't think this safe had anything to do with quote unquote Randonautica. Um, this was just a safe that was tossed out where a lot of trash gets tossed out. Truthfully, I don't think there's anything of any value in this. I could be very wrong, but I mean, maybe there's like golden dollars or whatever they, I, I don't know. Um, just seems kind of like a safe that, you know, somebody couldn't get into and they threw out on that road where a lot of trash was thrown out. I mean, a ton of trash was thrown out on that road. So you all saw the footage, probably just as confused as I am about a box full of stuff, a safe, a phone. All of this is really weird me out. One of the creepiest things that I picked up on when I watched the footage back was the owl that was in the background as I found a book with Owl Knight. It's all too weird. To me, this is all really weird. Now, this is the first time I've looked through any of this stuff. I'm just gonna kinda go through this, see if there's any writing anywhere. If there is, I will definitely let you all know or if there's anything stuck between the pages. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to go through all this, but the yearbook thing, that was weird. There's nothing in this book. No writing there, no writing there. Nothing. It's just weird. Like all of this to me is really, really weird. And this is what Randonautica is about, is bringing you to weird spots and coming across sometimes weird, sometimes not so weird. It's kind of like this. If you think about it, Rando Nautica is almost like a car company, right? A, a, an automaker, um, Ford, Chevy, Toyota, whoever, right? Um, they have a tool and the tool is the app, right? Where the tool when you drive a vehicle is the actual vehicle itself. You can choose to do good with that vehicle or you can choose to do bad with that vehicle. And if you're manifesting bad things, you're probably gonna come across some bad stuff while playing Randonautica. Same thing with a vehicle. If you decide to drink and drive, there are consequences that forthcome because of that. So in my opinion, I think that if you use the app looking for uh, cool and unique things, I think that you will come across it. But if you're gonna use it for uh, good intentions, like that's great. But if you're gonna use dark intentions the way that um, we do, it's it you're gonna probably end up coming across some stuff that is very strange. And like this right here, I saw uh, world's most famous ghost. Uh, had a picture of uh, a couple of pictures of people in here. I'm just trying to go through this stuff just to see if I'm missing something. Does this even correlate? Was I supposed to find this? Was I not that iPhone? I've got charging. Um, so none of these have anything in them written or anything. Cold River. Even the book titles, Rude, Rudy Yard High School Library. If you all know where that is, comment below. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. All right, so all of these are library cards from 79, 80, 80, or 78, March. Um, wow, that is crazy, 77, wow. 
That's crazy right there, folks. That is that is insane. So I'm not seeing anything written in these. I honestly just think this is a book that somebody just, or a group of books that somebody had in a box and they threw out for some weird, strange reason, I guess. I don't know. Chesapeake, a novel by James. So here on the map, the Chesapeake Bay is uh, about an hour from me. Not even an hour, maybe like 35, 40 minutes. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Let's dive deep into this yearbook over here. Now I'm gonna put these right over here for just, just a second. Um, now this yearbook says 1995. Now to put this in perspective, I was born in 1993. Um, looks, like, uh, looks like there's some really touching stuff in here. Um, just people writing and, and it says Andrew Andrew, we're finally out of here. Maybe I'll see you someday in some far off country in the Middle East. Andrew, to a good friend that I have known for a while, good luck in the future with the many, oh, with the money and girls. See you around sometime, Chris. Oh, that's cool. Andrew, hey, school was pretty, pretty good, but drafting sucked. Have fun in the army and drinking. Jake. Wow. So it sounds like this guy has went into the military. Uh, a ton of people has signed his yearbook. Let's see if we can find a picture of Andrew. I'm guessing he would be graduating, right? Yes. Yeah, so if they were, if they were senior, signing. Most likely. So. If they're saying good luck in the military. It's not like it's a see you next year. Yeah. Yeah. True that. Yeah. Most <laughs> they had a most flirtatious award back then. Oh, That'd be me. That oh, I'd have won that shit easy. Most flirtatious, Amy and James all right uh, Amy where you at <laughs> um, class clown I could I could go for that one too I don't know that'd be probably sunny yeah that would definitely be sunny all right so let's see wait what did Amy look like number nine most flirtatious okay Amy's over there all right here we go here we go um wait, what was his name Andrew so it goes alphabetically Andrew, how do you tell which one it is? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's Andrew right here, uh, apparently. That is Andrew, according to this, Andrew Drafting Technology. <clears throat> wow, what high school is this? Evermore? Building up and busting loose. Evermore. I don't even know where Evermore is. Wait, no, that's Sussex Tech High School. That's right in uh, Georgetown. Sussex Tech. My year at Sussex Tech was our season opener, blah, 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 blah. Maybe Evermore's like their theme because yearbooks do themes. Oh, so it's okay. Like Edgar Allan Poe. Kind okay. Of like Evermore theme. Damn, look at this. Average prices in 1994 to 1995, jeans, $24.99. Okay. I pay $124.99 for my jeans. Movie with $7, prom tickets, 40. Gasoline, 119 a gallon? Oh, call up the, Del the DeLorean and Back to the Future. Tell them I need to go to 1995. Stamps were 32 cents, a calculator was 30 bucks, yearbook was 24, a cassette was 11. CD seventeen ninety nine. A soda was sixty five cents. What? I get the yearbook was only twenty four. My senior year, I paid like ninety six dollars for my yearbook. Take me back to ninety five, baby. Wow. I wasn't even born when this yearbook came out. That's somebody's family picture. There's a wedding. Mm, this is about some football game on the back. Must have been like a school football game back in the day. Why would they have that in there? Oh, That's weird. Oh, 
my gosh, this is what they look like in 95. Wow. Things sure have changed since I went to high school. Good grief. Let's see if there's anything else in the pages then. If there was that in the pages, what else is in here? Oh, this girl is awesome. You know You're Oh, famous someday. I wonder if she's famous now. I'm just saying. Wait, let me look her up. Let me look her up. If this is local, I can I can look him up. Sussex Tech. Hang on a second. All right, I, dude, if I go down this rabbit hole right now. Do I like call him up and be like, or send him a message be like, hey man, um, yeah, I was going through the woods and I found a box of books and your yearbook was in it. Like, you know how weird that would be? If somebody called me up or like messaged me, I'd be like, yeah, you're psycho. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, that'd be very weird. But do I message him though? Like, this is like an actual yearbook. I'm 90% sure I wouldn't bet all of my net worth on it, but I bet a pretty big amount that this is him. Here we is again. She's just an all-around athlete. This girl's definitely an athlete. I like to know what she looks like now, because, I mean, like, all the pictures are blurry. This must have been like a girlfriend of his or something, because she's like, either that or like, maybe she should have got the flirting award for 95, class 95, I don't know. Yeah, this is all Eastern Shore businesses right here. Every single one of them that I'm looking at right now. Wow, what the hell? Dude, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, we hit the gold mine back here. Hang on a second. Andrew, oh, somebody wrote in cursive. Um, oh, these must have been teachers. This is really nice handwriting. Yeah, we can forget about reading um, that. Good gosh, oh, somebody wrote in a damn circle. <laughs> the whole way out of the yearbook. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be like, Andrew, life was really good meeting you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Andrew, life in Mr. Duke's class would have, wouldn't have been the same with that, all right, that. Um, love Bridget. Bridget. Shout out to Bridget. Uh, it's about time you gave me a damn pen that will write. Good luck in the army. Don't forget you commit a crime, you do the time. 50 push ups. That's a little, whoa, okay. I'm not reading the rest of that. That got a little gruesome from the line after that. That was really... Whoa. Andrew was loved by a lot of people. Oh, we got somebody's phone number. 8675309. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Stacy. I don't like the name. Her mom got it going on. I hope she does. I hope Stacy's mom has got it going on. I like, I like the name Stacy. She's not the girl for me. She is a girl for I'm me. Love her mom. We've all been in love. Oh, there's another phone number. Damn. This dude was getting the chicks back in the day, <laughs> brother. P.S. Call me sometime. <laughs> I get, these are all landline numbers, if you think about it. That's true. It's back in the day. They didn't have cell phones back then. This is weird as hell. Wow. I feel like I'm going through like someone's life right now. Yeah, that was, that was really weird. It was really weird. All right, let's move on next to the phone here. Um, short of being like the most expert hacker in the world, it has to have a passcode in order for me to get on this thing. Now, it's an iPhone S. Um, as you can see right there on the back, it's got a ton of scratches. 
Um, not necessarily meaning that um, it's broken, but it definitely has had better days. You can still see uh, there's dust all over it. It looks like a lady and her child. Blur that, I guess. I mean, you showed it earlier in the video. I would blur both just in case. Okay. Until we can find somebody. If you all know how to find someone's iPhone, like give this back to them, I would be incredibly grateful if you could help me out in that aspect. Um, because one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, gosh, damn it. iPhone is disabled. Try again in 15 minutes. <laughs> I tried a passcode. One, two, three, four, five. It didn't work. You should have tried like zero, 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 zero. So it sometimes resets it. I'll see you in 15 minutes. <laughs> but no, what I was saying was it's an old damn. iPhone. Can you do a camera trick? I don't you know. used to be able to just, you know how like the phones have the camera icon on there? You used to be able to do that and it unlocked the whole phone when you unlocked the camera. Really? That was an issue with the older models. I mean, it's probably not going to be able to do anything now because you're locked out for 15 Yeah, I can't even go to the camera thing now. All right, yeah. So, anyway, folks, without any further ado, um, I'm going to send Andrew a message, and we'll circle back and hopefully get this video finished up. If not, then you'll see an end screen right after this.